Hi everyone and welcome back again to Purposive Communication class. So for today's session, we're just going to have the continuation of the discussion of the multimodal communication. So let's now proceed. So previously we have talked about the discussion about the definition of multimodal communication. So at this point in time, we're going to be moving into the characteristics of multimodal communication. And also previously, we have talked about the modes of uh, communication, modes of multimodal communication. So let's now proceed. So first, the first characteristic of multimedia presentation is the following first. The multimedia presentation should have a visually oriented um, presentation, which displays the monitor or projected onto screen. This one multimedia presentation is basically one of the... Uh, uh, modes of multimodal communication wherein it is presented in digital presentation. Next one, they allow users to use different modalities such as text, graphics, photographs, audio, animation, and video. So in that case, when we talk about text, um, meaning text is presented into the multimedia uh, presentation or multimedia, I mean video, and the graphics and um, Particularly this one, it talks about the um, text that are moving and pictures that are moving. And then photographs are fake pictures and then also, which means sound. And then animation is about the movement or transition of those graphic photographs and text. And of course, video. Next one is that... Um, we have special features of computer-based presentation, and that's under the presentation of multimodal communication or multimedia. First, there should be a custom navigation between slides of the other and to the internet. Second, uh, it can be made into a hard copy, print out, or transparency, and uh, transparencies, and can be uploaded to the web. So these are the steps in making effective multimedia presentation. First. You need to know the purpose of presentation, like the ones that we have discussed into the uh, flyers, graphics, I mean, infographics and all. In all uh, presentation that you have, you need to have and understand the purpose of your presentation. Second, you need to know your audience so that uh, you will know what type of visual also are you going to present into your multimedia presentation. Third is try to gather information. And fourth is uh, gather information is about getting information that will support to the ones that you're going to discuss into the multimedia presentation. And then the fourth is you need to use a variety of resources of information from textbooks, digital resources, photographs, scan images, and then internet. So another thing that you need to also consider in terms of uh, the uh, multi-feature presentation is do not forget to cite resources, right? Do not forget to cite resources. You try to look into writing the author's name, include the website, and then also the non-profitable educational use of online materials. Um, try to use the fair use and always have the full biographical references for all citations. So if you're going to be looking and presenting a multimedia presentation or discussion, try to put um, bibliographic um, references. On the other hand, if it's a, a multimedia presentation like um, just a video or whatsoever, you try to make up and put some credits into your presentation so that you're not going to be, I mean, um, Deviating the copyright um, law and still following the uh, referencing. And uh, going to be avoiding the plagiarism. So next one is after that one is to try to organize already the information. And how are you going to organize the information? You try to list the main points, have, you have only one main idea or a per slide. And then present ideas in a logical order and then place important information near the top. So like the ones that we have um, into your infographic, uh, you have the uh, head, um, I mean the, the title head for, for a certain infographic, meaning that's the core of uh, the discussion of your multimedia presentation. 
Next one is you try to check technical issues in terms of its contrast, more of dark text to light background, and then white text or on dark background. That's a ruling. And then use only one design and color same throughout the slide presentation. And avoid cluttering, meaning um, disorganized words, disorganized images, make it really, I mean, a good layout. And then avoid pattern or textured background, because if you have a pattern or textured background, the tendency is it will not highlight anymore the text. And uh, trying to, I mean, overpower, I mean, the information. Next one is you need to use large font size so that it, uh, it will be, I mean, seen clearly seen by the readers and next one is use fonts that are easy to read don't use fancy fonts don't use more than two types of fonts and avoid too much text don't use a presentation as your notes and use um, no more than three or four bullets per slide so like the ones that when i ask you to make an oral presentation um don't read what is into the uh um i mean into the presentation when you're discussing it okay so that's it when we talk about multimedia presentation it doesn't mean only what you see right sometimes it's a collaboration of the visual the oral and of course the um, other modes of uh, communication next one is you need to be creative of course be creative in terms of presenting your multimedia you need to use transitions and animations to add interest but of course, don't overdo it when, when you try to make a, a, a presentation in multimedia because the tendency is always see into uh, looking into the, the eyes of the audience. So maybe it, it may be good for you, but not for the audience. Lalo na in terms of the transition, yung may ikot, masakit sa mata. Um, also with the color, I mean the color of uh, your presentation. And not only with that, but also the background. So try again, try to look into, uh, consider also the uh, people trying to look into your presentation. And also another tip to that also is if you're done already with the presentation, try to seek for advice and then make your presentation um, be seen by others as for the evaluation and then try to modify it. Because what may be good to you may not be good to the others understand so i guess that would be all for the discussion for another discussion for the multimedia presentation again multimedia presentation is one of the example of multimodal communication because it uh, uses i mean different modes of communication so that would be all everyone thank you so much